We would like to formally welcome you to another Jeff Dime production in association with Fake Money Films. And now, to our man on the street, Jeff Dime. Hey, how's everybody doing? My throat's a little coarse, I know. We gotta plow forward. We gotta plow forward. Our boy Mitchie has given us so much material that I am actually, I'm kind of overwhelmed. It's a great problem to have. I am getting so many requests, so much information. I want to thank everybody so much for all of that. All right. I also want to give a quick shout out to Don F. I don't know who you are, but I sent you 25 bucks on the 100 sub giveaway. I don't know if you spent it on a sub or whatever the hell you spent, sent it on. God bless. We're going to, we're going to do it every 100 subs to 1,000. So when we hit 200... We'll do it again. When we hit 300, we'll do it again. We hit 400, we do it again. We're going to build this channel organically, and I really appreciate everybody for being here. So, I have a lot, a lot of videos to make this week. I'm hoping to get to make, make at least two more. Um, they're going to be about our, our, our buddy Chrissy and uh, exposing him, which is like taking candy from a baby. So, let's begin, shall we? Let's get right into it. Christopher Mitchell. So Christopher Mitchell, his last, his last video is tips to winning in the casino. So let's see. He gives nine tips. And thank you, Donkey, on Poker Fraud Alert uh, for listing the nine tips he gives. And let's see if his nine tips are what an advantage player or professional gambler would give as tips to winning in a casino. Number one, you have to choose the right casino game to play. Baccarat. Mm, okay. Two divers from the Philippines were able to compete in the Southeast Asia Games despite having no experience and little support. Both divers, though, were not up to the task, executing horrible landings. And as you might expect, they finished dead last, scoring zeros on their individual tries. Chrissy, you dumb shit. We know why you picked Baccarat. You picked Baccarat because why every other scammer's picking Baccarat? Because it's like heads and tails. So you could come up with an infinite number of strategies, of betting patterns, of this and that. So that's why you pick Baccarat, because literally you could train a monkey to place their bet on banker or player. Okay? That's why you picked it. What's more important as an advantage player is finding the casino that not only spreads the game, spread is just a fancy name of saying they have the game, Okay, but where you're going to be least detected. Now, obviously, Christopher has no problem being detected and comped. And we're going to get into that in one of the videos this week. Why, Chris, why he gets all these comps if he's really winning. It's because he's not, guys. It's because he's not winning. It's because he's a big loser. He's a big fish. And we all know it. Okay, but a pro professional gambler... Very few professional Baccarat players I know. It is an extremely hard game to beat. It has very good odds. It's close to 50-50. You know, it's a good game to, to... It's a negative expectation game. But it's a good game to play if you just want to make a few bucks. So, like, on this next one, on number two, I figure let's let Chrissy talk for himself. So, let's go to the videotape casino expecting or being okay with losing guess what if you're okay with losing i promise you will lose every single time so you have to retrain your brain you've got to go into the casino knowing without a shadow of a doubt you're you're going to win when i walk into a casino i truly do believe i truly expect to win every single time so yes i've created a winning strategy but my mindset you absolutely must have a millionaire mindset you absolutely First off, dum dum, I'm really tired of seeing you wear your mask like you're working at a burger joint 
and like you're protecting your beard from getting into the fries and shit. Okay, first off, you have no hair, like anywhere. I think your eyebrows at this point are tattoos or you probably can't afford that. So it's probably just like magic marker. Okay, but wear your fucking mask over your ugly fucking face. Thank you. And by the way, you're the one who's dusted, busted, frusted, crusted, cannot be trusted. I know how much you love saying that, Chrissy. So he talks about this millionaire mindset. Listen, professional gamblers, advantage players, he makes this too easy. There's no millionaire mindset. Everything is a grind. They don't go in there looking. The worst thing you could do, the worst thing you could do is look ahead. You guys watch rounders and he's playing that hand. And he's thinking about Vegas and the fucking Mirage. No, you got to be thinking about that hand. You don't think about like, you know, the cars and the money and the women or the men, depending on what you like. It's about that strategy. So his second tip to winning in a casino is you must have a winning mindset, a millionaire mindset. Thinking ahead. It is complete horse shit. The offensive coordinator, you got a busted play here, and then Evans, Sanchez gets hit, the ball is loose, and it's alive. I have never seen this before in my life. Watch this. Vince Wilfork is going to throw Brandon Moore back into his quarterback. All right, so, Chrissy, you're 0 for 2. So, for number 2, Chrissy, you're a dumb shit. Nonsense. You must have a clear mind, be sharp, rested if possible, etc. This way you can execute your advantage play properly. Millionaire mindset, guys. That's what you don't want to have. You don't want to be thinking about the money and, and what can come with the money. You need to focus on executing the advantage play you have. That is what professional gamblers do. So you're 0 for 2, Chrissy boy. Big fucking surprise, huh? Number three, use a player's card. This, I'm going to have to elaborate more in a subsequent video. All right, I keep saying that, but yeah, there's a shitload of videos to make. And I have to make a video regarding comps and the comp system and why he's getting these comps, guys. I think you already know. Okay, but he is technically incorrect for a true advantage player. The rule would not be always use your player's card to get caught because the advantage player wants to go relatively, if not totally, undetected. I'm sorry, I, I really don't. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, uh, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all. Right. Okay. Bye. So, if you're like Chrissy, and you say you have a 99% plus win rate, there's no fucking way that you want to give the casino information about you voluntarily. Listen, Any casino in Las Vegas can ban you or what's called no offer you, which means that they don't give you any kind of perks for any reason whatsoever. So right away, once they even think that you're an advantage player, they can ban you. There's no due process. No due process. So you're 0 for 3, Chrissy boy. Big freak. Big, big freaking surprise, right? 0 for 3. So let's keep going here. Time limit. 60 minutes or less. That's what he says. He says, you don't want to be in the casino too long, right? Because you're in a casino too long, you're going to lose. Right? That's the rule, right? The longer you're in, the longer you're going to lose. Not if you have an advantage, buddy.
All right, Chrissy. If you have an edge, buddy, you dumb shit, you're 0 for 4. If you have an advantage in any form of gambling, you want to put in as much time as possible to get through variance. All right, so the variance is in the short term. Even if you have an advantage, you're going to lose sometimes, right? Because you might just have a 1, 2, 3% advantage. So you're 54% to 46% to win the hand. So that 46% comes in. So the longer you play, the longer you play, the more you even out that variance. Okay? Oh for 4, Chrissy. Oh for 4. You need to put in as much volume as you can while you have that edge. Because that edge does not guarantee you winning. And we all know that a real edge, you're going to get maybe up to 55%, you know, like a 55%. You're never going to get anywhere close to 70, 60 even. You know, you're going to get 51, 52, 53, 54, something around there. And you're certainly not going to get 99% plus. So if you have an edge, why the hell would you put a time limit on utilizing that edge? The answer is you would not. Does that mean we're not robots? Does that mean you play forever? No. You get tired, you get up. Okay, if you're not sharp enough to pull off your, your advantage play, you get off from the table, you get up. But as long as you're sharp enough, you keep playing. You put in as much volume as you possibly can because you can get kicked out of the casino if they think you're, you're uh, playing uh, as an advantage player. And you got to fight through the variance. You may be losing. You have the edge, but you're losing. Why, do this, why does the casino make, the, make money in the long run? It's because people are playing negative expectation games and they may win in the short term, variance, but long term, the casino gets the money. It's the same thing, but reversed. If you have the edge on the casino, the casino may make the money in the short term because of the variance. But if you put in enough time, then the money will go your way. You'll be the casino in the end. But you need to put in the time. So Chrissy, you dumb shit. You washed up old scam and queen. You're 0 for 4. Number 5. You must have a big bankroll. You know, right now he's doing 10K. He's saying he's doing 10K. And he's trying to make 10 to 25% profit from his bankroll. Okay. Let's see what clip I put in for this. I don't even remember what clip. Let's see. Right here, the hardest hitting 145 pound, the real hardest hitting 145 er right here. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. They're not, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Um, um. <laughs> who the fuck? I love that clip, man. But that that really. It, that is like CM sitting at the end of the table with, you know, picture like the professional gamblers, right? And he's at the end of the table like, hey, guys, hey, guys, you know, I, I got a system. I got a winning system. You know, I work uh, hundreds of hours on it, you know, and everybody knows it, that he's fucking he's he's a fool. that He's a fucking full of shit. Who's that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? That's Christopher fucking Mitchell. Now, the size of your bankroll is, an, is very important. There's no question about that. So on this one, he is surely partly right. Because we all know you need to have money to, to make money, right? You need to have money to make the bets. You can't go in a casino without any money and win just because you have an event. You need to have the money. So that's true. But the size of your bankroll is mostly important to avoid your risk of ruin. And the risk of ruin is basically, th that has to do with variance. So 
if you're going through a tough, tough patch, you may go completely broke, even as you have the advantage on the casino. And that, that happens. That, that happens, trust me. That happens, unfortunately. It happens to people that have an edge. And somebody that doesn't have an edge may just be on a really lucky, lucky heater. Like I always say, Chrissy could go out there tonight and he could win a million dollars and go on the biggest heater ever. He still has no fucking idea what the fuck he's doing. It doesn't change anything, okay? I show him showing the fake money because that shows his character. That shows that he's a scammer. That shows what a piece of shit he truly is. But just the fact that he has money... When he has real money, whether that's pooled with somebody else or he's borrowing it or whatever. Or he won it and got lucky. Or he, he, you know, he got a PPP loan, whatever the fuck may be. It doesn't change anything. It changes nothing. So I write here, even CM's pea-sized brain knows that the larger your bets can be when you have the edge, the more you stand to win in the long run. So that's just... I mean, that's common sense that even a numbskull, a pinhead like Christopher fucking Mitchell can understand, okay? You want to have a big bankroll. But he doesn't mention it because of the risk of ruin. That's why you really want to have a large bankroll, because you don't want to go broke, especially the older you get. The older you get gambling for a living, I mean, he's, you know, he's saying he's gambling for a living. He's not, okay? But he's got a kid. He's got a wife. He doesn't want to be close to that risk of ruin if he was an actual professional gambler, which he's not. So, Chrissy, you dumb shit. You're 0 for 5. Number six, set a stop loss. My stop loss is 25 to 50% of his bankroll. Ah, uh, Chrissy, I think you're going to be 0 for 6 on this one, buddy. I think you're going to be 0 for 6. Uh, actually, that might be Chrissy trying to, you know, get back <laughs> into shape. <laughs> As you know... Uh, and I'm going to go through some, some, you know, some, some videos coming up, but he's had, you know, so many scams. It is, it boggles the mind, but he had to get fit with Chris and he, uh, it's just get rich with Chris, the 60 books on Amazon or whatever. Chrissy, you dumb shit. You're 0 for 6. Okay. Nonsense. As long as your risk of ruin is not coming into play and or your play is affected by being tired and losing, you should never stop playing simply because variance is not going your way. If you still have bullets in the chamber, a clear enough mind and an edge, then you keep playing. Can't be, he can't be more wrong on this. He cannot be more wrong on this. You cannot be discouraged when you're losing. Now, if when you're losing, you're getting tired, you're getting frustrated, your play is being affected, that's a different story. But just because you're losing, if you still have that edge, your mind's still clear enough, you keep plowing forward. So Chrissy, you dumb shit, you're 0 for 6. Real, real advantage player you are, man. Real professional gambler you are. You know, it really is like taking candy from a baby with this fucking kid. It really is. I call him a kid because he's dumb. Like, he's never, he's never learned anything. He's never learned anything. He's now in his 40s. And he's just jumped from scam to scam to scam to scam. And he likes to project, you know. He's the one dusted, crusted, blustered, can't be trusted. Whatever the fuck saying is. Am I a scam artist? Am I a scam artist? Am I a scam artist? 
please, guys. You're on the top of the Baccarat Mountain, and nobody wants my webcam show. And nobody wants to pay the 2500 You owe it to me. You owe it to me, people. Oh, yeah. I got to do a Chrissy crying. I got to do a Chrissy crying in every video. So let's go to seven. I think you guys might be seeing a trend here. But the thing to keep in mind if you're watching this is that you could go Google all the shit that I'm talking about. This is from my life experience. So how I'm responding to what he's saying is just from my, like I didn't go and Google this shit. But you could go Google and you could see who's right, Jeff Dime or Chrissy, 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 Chrissy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. All right, number seven, place big bets. My minimum... <laughs> now is starting at five hundred dollars it's not a nice thing all right now russell knox oh my that's a shake he decided to re-tee that's a shake oh man is laying the ball in the area in which the players that's a great, oh my and he did that hit right in the middle of the ball and the gallery stopped it i believe that was a shake Oh, oh, oh. All right, Chrissy, you dumb shit. You're 0 for 7. Nonsense. Your bet sizing should be de determined by how much of an edge over the house you have that particular bet. When the casino has the edge, you should get up, take free hands, or if you have to bet, that is close to the minimum if possible. Now you might be saying, hey, uh, Jeff Dime, what do you mean bet as close to the minimum as possible? Well, if you're an advantage player, right, and you're playing blackjack and you're counting cards, and say the table minimum is $25, if you bet 25 every time the count is negative, they're, they're going to catch on. So you can't make it so obvious so that when you have the advantage, your bets are huge, and when you don't, they're small. For the most part, you don't want to make it that obvious. So there's nuance involved. Um, so I say here in Baccarat, now again, Baccarat, extremely difficult to beat. Extremely difficult to beat, um, you know, you could count in there. Um, you know, there are people who kind of believe in this pattern recognition, but I don't. I personally don't, and most of the people that I talk to do not. And that's the bottom line is, why would you start a minimum bet of 500? Well, I guess if you want to go broke really fast. Okay, because there's no way that you have an advantage on every bet. He's betting $500 on the first hand coming out of his shoe. No matter what his program strategy, whatever the fuck you want to call it, he doesn't have any kind of advantage that he can say. So why the hell would you start with something like that? That's, that's not going to get you very far, and he's going to go broke really set, really soon, so... And he's going to have to get PPP money or whatever, or, you know, money from those two rich kids or you know, whatever. I don't fucking know. But Chrissy, you dumb shit, you're 0 for 7. Big surprise. Um, I think most people have bet against you, so. Number eight, flat bet. Do not use the Martingale system. That's his new thing, right? So... You know, he changes prices and he changes to Martingale, to flat betting, to this and that. That's his new thing. All right? Excuse me. Excuse me. Daddy, you can only one more night. You're a damn All right, just get the hell out of here. I got a goddamn. Okay, Chrissy, you dumb shit. You're afraid.
You are no professional gambler, brother. Not even fucking close. You are a scam artist. You are you are a beneficiary of your own mediocrity. That's why you're on top on YouTube. Because Brunson FX knew how to do it. Samples a felon and can't do it anymore. And all his clients were losing it, their asses. And you're just this little freaking bug, this little cockroach on the floor. That's why you're able to stick around. Has not, nothing to do with any kind of skill you have. We're laughing at you, not with you. You don't realize the clown show. You don't realize that you're captivating because you're so fucking dumb. So again, Chrissy, you dumb shit. You're wrong. Casinos love both flat bettors and martingalers. They love people to flat bet and they love people to martingale. The bet size will depend on the current edge you have on the particular hand. So, say I'm playing blackjack. I'm counting the deck, all right? The deck has, you know, a, a true count of plus five, something like that. I am going to engineer my bet according to the advantage that I have. So, it's all about the bet sizing corresponding to the percentage of edge I have on that hand. Okay? So that is O for 8. That is O for 8. And then we get number 9. Must have a winning strategy. I, uh... This one's a little bit, yeah, it's a little tough because, yeah, you, you, you need to have a way to win. <laughs> but Chrissy does it because I think I may have said this before in this video, but Chrissy is a dumb shit. <laughs> so, Christopher Mitchell. Busted, dusted, crusted, cannot be trusted. Look, people find my videos. People enjoy my videos. Either way, these are his nine tips to winning in a casino. These nine tips have nothing to do with winning in a casino. Zero, zilch, nada, zero, nothing. The only one that this numbskull is partially right is the bankroll size. You need to have a bankroll. You know, you shouldn't go into the casino with your rent payment. But a kindergartner would know that, right? So we're not going to give him any credit on that. All right, so let's watch this tape real quick. And I'm just going to opine on it real quick and talk to you about what's coming up after that. So, so uh, is Christopher Mitchell a scam artist? Well, he's, he's his scam helping me win money, so yeah, why not? Yeah. He's helping us win money, so. Like, every, time you guys have, every time you guys have ever emailed yeah. me, have I responded promptly? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like if I say I'm meet, 100%. Yep. If I say I'm going to meet you guys here at the Cosmo, the Blasio, yep. anywhere, have I always met you where I said I was going? Okay, so this hillbilly and this, this young kid over here. What about Lucy? What about Rick Lee? What about Greg? What about all these other people that are emailing me that have been part of your scams? You can't go two for a hundred you know, you know, 98 people lose and two win. And because of that, you're no longer a scam artist. 
And I'm really tired of that shit. And I think you guys are too. Anybody, look, not everybody is going to go into the casino and lose. Now, I have no idea if these two guys won or not, or if Christopher, they just want to be on YouTube. And I'm going to do a video on these two, you know, this, this one guy on the, on the right um, just seems like a rich kid. And they look like they're trying to hold back laughter the whole time. So I don't know. Like, I, I, you know, I don't know if they won or if they just want to be on YouTube on, you know, Christopher, Christopher Mitchell's page because he has 6,000 subscribers. I actually think he, like, I actually think as far as real viewers, I might be pretty close to him. Because, you know what? I got 100 subs. I get like five, 600 views a video. But they're all real. Right? He's got like 6,000 subs. He gets like 1,500 views a video. But like within like 10 minutes or something, there's like 700 posted and like 80 upvotes. And then as people come in, they downvote it, downvote it, downvote it, downvote it, downvote it. I'm just sick of it, man. I'm, I'm sick of him... I, like these two people, like, God, you know what? I, you know, because because this guy to the left is a grown ass man, bro. Get your shit together, man. Open your fucking eyes. Open your fucking eyes. The kid to the right looks pretty young. I'm not gonna get on him too much, but my God, you know, it's just. It's just, it's just like, you know, it's like I said, it's just the easiest analogy. You know, you, your family member, you never, you never did shit for them. And then one day you're there for them. And then it's like, oh, aren't I the best? Aren't I the best? Did you get my, my package in the mail? You know, did you get my face masks I sent you in the mail? You know, my aunt that I haven't called in 15 years. Aren't I the greatest guy? Forget about every single day before that. Forget about the last 5,000 days that I didn't do shit. I'm sick of it. Am I a scam artist? We just won, right? You're not a scam artist because the cards that randomly came out of the shoe in a game that's close to 50-50 went your way in this particular situation? That's proof that you're not a scam artist? <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. So we'll get more into that going forward. Um, I just wanted to show this. Um, I think this is on his Instagram. I don't, I, 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 I don't go on Instagram. So this was given to me secondhand. Um, by the way, another shout out to Donkey. Um, on uh, Poker Fraud Alert for listing those nine. I just, I was like, I looked at the nine, nine things that he said, tips about winning in a casino. I was like, okay, he's 0 for 9. I got to make a video about this shit. All right, so this guy was breaking his chops. And again, this is another big video we're going to have because he does not talk about win-loss statements. He will not even let the words leave his mouth. Your statement can can be proven by showing win-loss statements. This guy, Doug, whatever, right? And Christopher, Fistopher Mitchell, right? What does he write? I don't, need to prove, I don't need to prove myself to you or anyone. My VIP lifestyle proves it all. Don't try to manipulate me because you're jealous of my lifestyle. Buddy. Listen. Like I, I wrote on a, on a post the other day, you can enjoy living the life of your dreams, but checkouts at 11 a.m., buddy. Okay? I once stayed at the Cosmopolitan for 93 days straight. Okay? I swear to God. I swear to God. And I want to, I want to tell that story. Um, it, it's, 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 it was a year of my life right after I had a surgery that didn't go so well and I just took whatever I had out to Vegas and just lived like a king. 
But you know something? I always knew that I was escaping something. It wasn't real. It's not real. Now, if you have the proper perspective, and when I would walk into the Cosmo and walk into the VIP check-in around everybody else and make my espresso, you know, my cappuccino and get my little things and everybody's, you know, calling me by my last name and everything and, and you know, I'm, I'm getting uh, a, a big wraparound suite high up at the Cosmo that looks over the fountain and all that kind of stuff. I know that that's not real. That's not real. It's an escape. And you're going to go back to your regular life. Unless you have unlimited funds and you're just, you want to live like that forever. But it proves not only. Now, in my case, it was a little bit, because what I did is, and I'll go through this in, in, the, in the comp video, but what I did is I chose the Cosmo because it was my favorite casino to play a lot of negative EV games and to get my status there and try to be very careful because I knew I was going to lose, but want to lose just enough so that I keep my status and in the end, I feel like I'm coming out on top. And you have to be very disciplined to do that. And then I would do my sports betting actually there because it, it's, it's third party um, and it's run by Canner and, and elsewhere. And that, that's where I, I, you know, I had my positive EV. Um, although I am going in, my variance is going the wrong way right now. But his lifestyle proves just the opposite. Getting these sweets comped, getting those meals comped, it's because he's a big, fat, fucking loser. That's what it proves. It proves just the opposite. But he can't adapt. He can't change. His reptilian ways, he is so set in that he just can't change. So people keep on asking me about Poker Fraud Alert with Dan Druff. I actually, um, this past Thursday, I called in to the show around 5 a.m. Eastern time, um, which was around 4.55 into his show. He does about an eight-hour show sometimes, and it, it depends when it is during the week, um, but he puts timestamps and so the archives, if you go to Poker Fraud Alert, because um, so many people ask me about it, um, he does the show once a week, but you're, then you could go and you can, he's on iHeart now and all kinds of stuff, but then you could go and you can listen to pieces as the week goes on. And maybe if a topic doesn't interest you, you could just skip over that topic So because he puts timestamps in there. So... I was on, we only talked about Christopher Mitchell for a very short time, um, you know, he, but people want to know when he did his, you know, the long segments, so I went in, uh, the four shows that he's done um, are from 418, uh, was the initial show, uh, 425, which is actually my favorite, it's about 48 minute segment and it, it's hilarious, 502 and 523. I'll link it in the description below. Um, you know, check it out. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, the thread is on Poker Fraud Alert. He's covered on his radio show. Um, there really hasn't been any kind of new news uh, enough for him to really cover it. But if you want to give a listen to this week's show, um, I called in about four hours and 55 minutes into it and actually was... Uh, was on for the, the duration of the show. So, uh, yeah, check that out. Give that a listen. Um, Big Three World, still we, we want to do that compilation. Um, I think this week we both had a bunch of crazy shit to do, 
And But, you know, look out for that. It'll be coming up soon. And we're going to do some Vegas talk. You know, that's... I spent a lot of time in Vegas. I have some, like, tips, you know, where to stay. Um, I pretty much stayed in all the hotels on the, on the Strip. I'm a Strip guy. Uh, I'm not a downtown guy. And I do prefer the nicer hotels. Unfortunately, I do have that in common with Christopher Mitchell. But um, there is some tricks to the trade. And uh, you can look forward to that in some subsequent videos. Uh, also, please like and subscribe. Like I said, it really helps me out. I really enjoy interacting with everybody. And when we get to the next 100, I'm going to give out another 25 and another 25. And I also, for like my really loyal, and you know who you are, and I don't want to mention any names because I'm going to leave some people out, um, my very loyal viewers, I probably want to do something else. No. I'm not saying this to pat myself on the back. You guys know you need at least a thousand subs to monetize a channel. And I don't think you could curse like I fucking do to monetize it anyway. Um, but it does come out of my pocket. Um, Don F., God bless you. you know. And, and I just hope that that shows you. Uh, and actually, I, I saved the receipt. And it's posted on Poker Fraud Alert if anybody wants to take a look. I showed actual proof that I sent it to him within minutes. He emailed me, picked the six of diamonds, and I sent it to him within minutes. Within minutes. So everybody have a great week. I got some more shit coming out. I also have uh, videos that a gentleman sent to me that wants to remain anonymous that are very funny. Um, sorry, Mr. Anonymous, that you're not in this video. The running time was already too long. You will probably be in the video tomorrow or Tuesday. And I will uh, email you regarding that. I had to put those into a certain form. So with that, I will leave you guys. But I will be back soon. And uh, everybody, have a great Sunday night, Monday morning. And uh, yep, yeah. we will talk Mitchie again very soon. And Christopher, if you're watching this video... Fuck you.